let's move on to our z. So with the z we said the top and the bottom were going to just be y equals equations. So the top would have to be, now we have to be careful about where we place our equations. We want to be around the same place as our first letter. So the top would have to be at 6 and the bottom would have to be at 2. So y equals 2 sets my bottom and then y equals 6 sets the top. I don't want it that long though. I want it from about here to here. So about 4 to 6. So for the top I'm going to set them between 4 to 6. Now how I'm getting the less than or equal to signs is I'm pressing less than on the keyboard then equal. It will automatically show up as a less than or equal to. Now if I want to be lazy I could copy that and then paste it into the second section. So that would work. Now this next equation is a little bit trickier. That's going to be a y equals x to the third power. Uh, that's tough. Now we want this to, and remember, you might have to play a little bit. I want this center to be right about here. So I'm going to move it over about four, let's say, and move it up uh, four again. Hmm. I need to move it over a little bit more. So if I need to move it over, I'm going to check the X. So let's make that five. Cool. That worked in the center. And it doesn't connect, but we can stretch it and force it to connect. Oh, look, it worked. That's pretty cool. And we are going to constrain it. We want to constrain the exact same spot. So from four to six. And now we have our Z.